Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an African fish. I'm going to take two fingers on the left and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line up. And then I'm going to draw straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. Right where I stop, I'm going to draw a big curve line down and a straight line in. From that straight line in, I draw a slightly curved line down and out. Curve line in, curve line out, curve line in, and stop. Come back over to the left. Right there's my dot. I'm going to draw a little curve line in, out, and stop. And right where I stop, I'm now going to draw a big curve line down. I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal connect. Now this is a stylized African fish. Probably never seen one like it. But now we're going to start adding the details. Right here I draw one baby circle. And then I draw another circle around it and another circle around it. Inside this section, I'm going to draw a triangle. Inside this section, I'm going to follow the line, curve line down, curve line up, connect. I come over here and right here I'm going to draw a curve line in, connect. These are my fish's gills. I draw one curve line, curve line up, connect. A little one, curve line, up, connect. And a little curve line, up, connect. Right down here, I'm going to draw a curve line up, connect. Curve line up, connect. Curve line up, connect. And right in these sections, I'm just going to follow my lines again. Curve line down, up, connect. Over here, I'm going to draw another triangle, connect. And I think that's it. So every time you draw one of these other spaces, you're going to mimic that line with the shape inside. Okay, let's color this in. Now the thing about African art is that it is extremely bright colors. So I'm going to do a yellow orange around my eyeball. I'm going to color the center black. Right next to that circle, I'm going to make this circle blue. Okay. I want to pop a color, so I'm going to use yellow, I mean uh, orange red for my lips, down here for my inside shapes of my tail. I'm going to use green for one of my stripes, green for one of my fins, green for my little triangle. I'm going to use blue. For my gills. So the more colors you use, the better it looks. I'm going to use purple for that section. And I'm going to make the entire fish orange. Now, when you do African art, what they usually do, this would really be made out of cloth and it would be what we call an applique. So every section that we're coloring with crayon they would cut out with actual colored cloth and sew. This is much easier. Don't forget his tail. Okay, let's see what he's going to look like all colored in. Here's my African fish all colored in. A really wonderful example of vibrant contrasting colors. 
beautiful art. Okay, bye-bye.